AI is a very scary thing. It has the power to completely control our lives. And I think most people feel like <laughs> that'll never happen. But the truth is, it's already happening. And it's been happening for a while now. It's been happening right in front of your nose and you probably don't even realize it. In this video, I'm gonna explain exactly what's going on with proof that AI is already controlling us. Remember when Google bought YouTube for $1.6 billion? That seemed crazy at the time. That was back when YouTube videos were squares. The resolution was like 200p. And people just shared stupid home videos of themselves. But a lot has changed since then. Squares turned into rectangles, the resolution multiplied, and now people share, well, they still share stupid videos of themselves. But perhaps the thing that has changed the most is the YouTube algorithm, otherwise known as artificial intelligence. I remember in the beginning of YouTube, when you searched for a video, clicked on it and watched it, in the sidebar, it displayed more videos for you to watch next. And the videos displayed were only related to the current video's metadata and tags. It was very easy to find content that you were looking for, but Flash forward to today, the algorithm is much different. It's more complex, it's more sophisticated. AI has gotten smarter. It now tries to learn who you are as a person based on your behavior when you're using the platform. It measures your engagement. It uses signals such as the like and dislike button, whether or not you comment on a video, how long you watch a video for, whether or not you click on a video when you see the thumbnail, this stuff and more. And it will use this information to recommend and suggest new videos for you to watch so that you will be satisfied and stay on the platform. And of course, this makes for a very hands-free experience. It's convenient. No longer do you need to search for the things you wanna watch, AI will just find them for you. And this all seems very harmless. It seems like an upgrade because it is better, it's easier. But have you really ever thought about what's actually going on here? Five billion videos are watched every single day on YouTube. 30 billion YouTube short views every single day. YouTube is a huge library of content and you literally have access to all of it. But 70% of all the views now come from YouTube's recommendation system, which means that 70% of all the views come from AI suggesting content to you. That is proof that people are clicking on and watching content that AI suggests to them, way more than they are searching for their own content. So what does this mean? It means that people are giving up control over the content that they watch. When you choose to watch what YouTube has suggested to you, you are not only allowing, but you are trusting AI to make your choice for you. Even if you choose which videos to watch on your homepage, all of the videos that are on your homepage were chosen by AI, and it gives you this illusion of choice. If I asked you, which color do you like best, red or blue? Yeah, I gave you a choice, but I left out every other color in the rainbow. So what kind of choice do you really have? YouTube is controlling the content that you watch. And it's not the only platform that does this. TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, LinkedIn, every single social media platform uses an algorithm that controls the content that you are shown when you're on the platform. And you might say, so what? I like the content that's suggested to me. AI suggests things that I like to watch. And yeah, that may very well be true. Just like I like some of the songs I hear on the radio, but that doesn't change the fact that the only reason I hear those songs are because giant record label corporations have paid millions of dollars to the radio stations just to play them. Meanwhile, there are millions of amazing, talented, starving music artists out there 
that are just dying for me to hear their music. But I never will unless I turn off the radio and go out and search for them myself. Are you familiar with Andrew Tate? <laughs> of course you are. If it wasn't for AI suggesting his videos to me, I would have never discovered him. What happened was one day I was just scrolling through my newsfeed and up popped a video about Andrew Tate giving some life advice to men. So I watched it. And now it seems like every single time I go on my YouTube homepage, I'm bombarded with videos about Andrew Tate. And I can't help but feel a little intrigued. Like, who the fuck is this guy? Why is my homepage getting bombarded with his videos? He must be a pretty big deal. I don't have anything against him, but I'm not sure how to perceive how often I am seeing videos of him. Because until I watched that first video, I had no idea who he even was. So why does this matter? Why does it matter that artificial intelligence is deciding for us what videos to watch? Well, it matters because what we see and what we hear has the power to change our perception of reality. Psychologically, when you see the same things over and over and over again, you can't help but start to focus on them. And what you focus on becomes your reality. This in psychology can, in other words, be defined as the power of suggestion. The power of suggestion. It's when an individual has an idea conveyed to them and that idea in turn becomes their reality. So what is happening to your reality when you are being bombarded with videos that AI has chosen to show you? AI is controlling your reality. AI is controlling your reality. The average person spends up to two and a half hours per day on social media. Teenagers spend up to eight hours a day on social media. What the fuck kind of reality are they living? What are they getting bombarded with online? What does the algorithm suggest to them? What is AI brainwashing them with eight hours a day? When you see the same things over and over and over again, they become your reality. And it's easy to believe any reality when you are constantly bombarded with it even if it doesn't even make any sense. Now, of course, there are billions of videos out there, and not all of them are going to influence you. However, when we talk about people such as Andrew Tate, someone who is very opinionated, controversial, influential, social media has the power to spread ideas to people who would have otherwise never even known about them. And I honestly think this is why Andrew Tate has become so popular because his videos performed well enough with a large enough audience that it triggered AI to promote him to the rest of us. And I see the same shit happening with lots of other influential topics. I saw the same shit happening with COVID-19 conspiracies. I saw the same shit happening with van life. I see the same shit happening with the trans rights movement. Yes, all social media platforms have policies. They have security measures in place to protect you. The algorithm can recognize inappropriate content and not promote it to you. However, there is millions of videos out there and thousands of creators who may not be swearing or talking about sex and violence. They may not be obviously breaking the rules, but they also may not be very good role models either. The fact is that there has always been and always will be millions of different people out there with millions of different opinions. But how those opinions are shared with others is a huge concern, especially when you allow artificial intelligence to be in control of that. The bottom line is, the power of suggestion is a very powerful thing. A single suggestion has the power to alter consciousness, to create movements, to impact society. It has the power to change reality as we know it. And when the suggestion is being controlled by artificial intelligence, an algorithm choosing to promote content simply based on how well it performs, not because of its overall message, not because of what good it will do for humanity, simply based on how well it performs, to the point that people like Andrew Tate become world renowned. They become famous. And then humans have to interject and say, whoa, 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 wait a minute. 
This guy is bad. He shouldn't be promoted. We need to cancel him. We need to lock him up and throw him in jail. We need to slander his name and destroy his image. Simply for sharing his opinion. Maybe Andrew Tate is not the problem. Maybe we don't need to cancel Andrew Tate. Maybe we need to cancel social media. Maybe we need to stop putting the future of humanity at the mercy of a computer program.